Hey guys, it's Ike, and welcome to the sixth episode of the Aquatope on White Sand. A little bit of a recap on the previous episode. We saw that Fuka's mom came to visit. Fuka ends up running away under the influence of Kukuru. And during her running away, she realizes that she still got work to do at the Gama Gama Aquarium, and she ends up coming back. Her mom learns a little bit more about her workplace uh, along with the place that she's staying and uh, ultimately decided to let Fuka stay until the end of summer. So crisis averted for the moment and we still have the deadline that is the end of August when the aquarium would close forever. And <laughs> I see... I'm, I'm on like the first frame of episode 6 right now and I see it's a newspaper and it says after 48 years of being a fixture in the community, the aquarium will close at the end of August. Alright, so it's been on for 48 years and I assume that her uncle probably, her uncle, her grandpa probably has, uh, has taken over for like the later half of the year. Who knows? But anyways, let us get started. Oh. We're, we're starting, we're starting with that ominous sound again, but also <laughs> the fact that a newspaper is really out here talking about the aquarium closing. Man, that's a large newspaper that you just dropped into the bucket. <laughs> Could at least shred it first. So that does uh, go back to back when Kukuru was in, within her remedial class and her teacher had mentioned it and she was surprised that he knew that the aquarium was closing. Who knows, maybe her grandpa's been talking. Or somebody else within, you know, the no has been talking. Damn, dude. So she also looked like she hasn't been sleeping well. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do with the... Awesome. We can leave the cleanup to Kuya. Okay, <laughs> I I find it quite funny that here is Udon Chan freaking working in the restaurant and her mom is just on the other side as a customer and she's like, hey, give me some pork belly. <laughs> what does her mom do anyways? <laughs> other than being a fortune teller on the side. Yeah. Yeah, expand your recipes. Oh, damn, what a impatient customer. Where's my pork belly? Some taiyaki would be nice too. Although it's not exactly cold sweets, huh? <laughs> Wow, what a pleasant expression. Alright, where's Kuya when you need them to- or when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> I 
5,000 yen. Goddamn, dude. Where are you guys getting the equipment for keeping the ice cream cool? That is true. I felt that for Kukunu, dude. There are so many flavors. I'm gonna go for vanilla. <laughs> that's uh, that's me, honestly, at an ice cream shop, except my vanilla is green tea or matcha flavored ice cream. I, I wish the person behind the counter was also like this guy in a full chef uniform and a hat. <laughs> Damn, dude, this man is professional AF. <laughs> Pineapple chocolate. <laughs> the, th <laughs> the three kinds of people. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of this uh, place that sells taiyaki ice cream. It is just, mm. Hey, where's the pineapple bits in this chocolate? Yes. That's cooking for you. Baking, on the other hand. <laughs> That's a request of a lifetime? <laughs> I, like, I like it. It really shows their little friendship with each other. Oh my god. She's gonna get a stomach ache by the end of this. <gasps> Instagram! Of course! Easy peasy. Yeah, time to upload it to the YouTubes. Ah, you want to be the social media manager? I was wondering why they had that camera there. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, too bad, Kuya. Frogfish. Every year in the summer, huh? Hey, you can get him. He's uh, he's good material for the social media. I say after <laughs> after what happened in episode four of peep of uh, of Fuka being having her picture taken without her consent. <laughs> and I'll be like, just do it. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, you can always ask him first. You know what he what he really likes about the the. The Kame, uh, sorry, not the, this is the Kame Diner, but the uh, Gama Gama Aquarium. Oh, it seems Karen's the one who's who has to bring them down. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. How long does it take? It's going in people's mouth. Food safety and all that. It's understandable. <laughs> oh, great. Now she's... <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Off she fucking goes. Aw, oh, dude, you know what I haven't had in a long time? Taiwanese shaved ice. 
it's way too small. Oh, damn. Okay. He doesn't like sweets? Oh, he hates brain freeze. What a fucking sucker. How about you eat it slowly? Meanwhile, he is just... <laughs> he just has the entire thing. Umiyan does not care at all about brain freeze. Look at her mom giving her indirect advice. <laughs> Still way better than me. Holy shit. Hmm. What is that boat? Holy shit. Oh, maybe he heard you. <laughs> He's like, I'm only here for the aquarium. Oh, it's those three low boys. There he is. I gotta say, this is a very bare-boned aquarium. <laughs> or a very bare-boned tank. Uh-oh. Wow, it's been like over 40 years. Oh my god, it's the tribal child! Just advertise. We put drugs in this place, man. We just you, you come here, you see visions. <laughs> oh my god. Those fucking irresponsible parents. Oh, he sees his older brother. I was thinking I suppose 40 years ago they were kinda looks like he's in a military-ish uniform. What is the sound that is happening right now? Is that just war? <laughs> oh, it's a fucking- okay. As I should have expected, huh? Ooh, somebody's been tripping out. Got any customers? She worked me way too hard. <laughs> I don't even know what those flavors would be. Oh, that's really nice though that they drew the cups. Oh. That is really cool. Can you put in parentheses what the flavors of it is? <laughs> Damn, dude, that's really cool. Oh, shit, dude! Put that on Pentagram, would ya? Oh, 
Understandable. Look, all those shave ice are Pentagram worthy, man. Post that shit on on the interwebs. Oh, it's the end of the episode. <laughs> all right. So I would assume that, you know, it's a twin that died at birth. So like they birthed to twins and thus uh, the other one died. Ha, huh, what a fucking weakling. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so mean to these people who have died. <laughs> Anyways, I want to know how that will, uh, the whole shave ice business will come out next episode and, you know, further episodes and beyond. My other thing is, again, is uh, the whole idol thing and whether that's going to end up on the social media one of these days, especially if those uh, other kids... Those other kids who had seen her previously, you know? Even though they they got reprimanded, you never know. It could be them or another person who sees and instead of causing a scene about it, they would probably just casually tweet about it on the Twitter. I don't know what they call Twitter. <laughs> Consider they call Instagram, Pentagram. All right, we've got anything else or am I just gonna get skipped to the, oh, okay. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. Check out your creations. Kept forever online. If you leave your own shop, what's your mom going to do? <laughs> Ooh. Look at her trying something new from her daughter. <laughs> it is a small shop, man. That's nice. All right, and here it goes. Just sang me straight to the next episode. Anyways, I'm gonna write more notes and then, uh, and then yeah. That reminds me the whole quote-unquote mystery with Kukuru's twin. I am quite happy that a lot of the questions that I have or a lot of the things that they show that gives me questions are answered quite fast. <laughs> I quite enjoy that. Man, what is with people drawing twins and like them having the same hair style? <laughs> Damn twins always having same hair styles and shit. <laughs> I, I really like uh, Udon Chan Tsukimi Tsukimi's relationship with her mom. Very nice. Obviously, it's quite different from from Fuka's and her mom's relationship, but you, you can see how both of them respectively have taken traits from their parents or from their mom in this case. I don't know if they have a dad. <laughs> well, we learned previously that Tsukimi's mom, uh, her her dad cheated on her, her mom, so. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, we, we can see how, you know, they've taken the traits of their parents and it is just very nice. But anyways, that's enough note taking for me, so it is back to the center. Alright, so that was episode 6 of the Aquatope on White Sand. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a pretty good episode. It had a little bit more focus on Udon-chan or Tsukimi. We also had a little bit more of uh, of screen time for her mom as well. And I gotta say, I genuinely like her mom. <laughs> She's a very, very chill lady. I, I, I really like her and I hope we see her even more. Back to the beginning, which is the shot of the newspaper saying that the aquarium that's been around for 48 years is going to close at the end of August. Kukuru is the one who's reading it and she seems surprised and uh, surprised, shocked, and a bit upset at the fact that the newspaper has actually written about this and also again who 
uh, where did they learn this from? <laughs> Who knew about this, huh? Did the aquarium itself say anything in the, to the public? Who knows? I, I, I would just assume it's just the grandpa who's like, yeah, we're closing by the end of August. <laughs> What about it? But since the news is going out to the loco, Kukuru is working even harder in trying to attract more people to the aquarium. We can see that with her furrowed brows and how she's just constantly furrowing like that. We saw a little bit of like dark shade under her eyes. Who knows? You know, maybe she's been staying up all night trying to figure out uh, an idea for this. And so during this miss of trying to figure out what to do in order to attract people, Fuka suggests that they sell some cold sweets. And who else would be better in making cold sweets than Udon Chan? So they head over to the Kame Diner to ask her about it. And we see that she doesn't really make much sweets since she learns from her mom and her mom herself doesn't really like, uh, doesn't really like sweets all that much as you can see with her mom ordering some pork belly but refuses to have the mango pork belly because sweets and well fruit and meat doesn't really blend all well for her. We see Udon Chan hard at work as she made plan A to G on what certain sweets they should be uh, what that what certain sweets they can sell or, or such things like that and the first plan was a parfait which we later find out that uh, we don't have enough budget for that in the first place. So they settle on ice cream being sold outside of the, uh, 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 of the aquarium. Since they were going on ice cream, we see Udon Chan saying, well, maybe we should try out ice creams first in order to know, in order to know on how to make ice creams. You know, in order, how, in order to learn to make some food, you gotta try the, the cooking first and see how it tastes and how how perhaps it could be created and such. As Udon Chan leaves the two girls in pursuit of more research, uh, aka eating more ice cream, hopefully she didn't get a upset stomach after that, but as the two girls were about to leave on their own, t uh, on their side, she, uh, Fuka notices the pentagram note saying something like, you know, if you follow them on pentagram, you get a free topping, free, <laughs> a free scoop of ice cream. And that reminds her of social media and how they could get a buzz within social media as well. And even Kukuru was like, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of aquariums on social medias. <laughs> That's honestly me. That's what I was talking about, how I've just been seeing a lot of Japanese aquariums, specifically Japanese aquarium on YouTube. And you know, you click on one aquarium and YouTube would be like, I see that this person really likes aquariums, so I'm gonna recommend them the more aquarium videos. <laughs> I keep clicking on them. Those goddamn seals, man. <laughs> Back to the social media, Fuka says that she wants to show to the world, to the internet, on what makes Gama Gama so special. And Kuguru herself thinks about that, you know, what makes Gama Gama so special as she goes to take a bunch of pictures that post to the Instagram. While Fuka and Kukuru are still at the aquarium, Kukuru notices the old man who comes to the aquarium every summer for a very long time, which we learn later on that he came to the aquarium when it was still brand new. So he's been here for over 40 years or 48 years to be exact. So that that's pretty fucking holy shit, dude. That's a long-term customer right there. And I had thought perhaps he can tell them what makes the Gama Gama Aquarium so special. <laughs> and me being the person who's like, yeah, put that shit on the social media, get that buzz going. <laughs> My social media brain started turning. After that scene, Karen brings them all back down to the ground by saying that they cannot deal ice cream because they need a permit. And, and we go on to this whole food safety thing, which is understandable, and especially if it's ice cream and it's dairy. And that's why I was also thinking, I'm like, yeah, where are you gonna get these equipments to uh, keep these ice cream in the first place? And I don't know, I just thought it, <laughs> I just thought it was a little bit odd on how they were going to deal with that, especially when they have like a very minuscule budget. Anywho, uh, I think it was Fuka who asked uh, her mom, or Udon Chan's mom, on what they can get a permit that's easy. And so she suggests that they do shave ice. And with hearing that, Udon-chan decides that she's gonna go out and research on 
the shaved ice and just rushes out of the diner. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just fantastic. Like, all right, mom, I know you're buzzing and all, but like, take care of the shop. You can do it. I'm out of here. <laughs> so while Udon Chan or Tsukimi is trying to come up with flavor ideas for the shave ice, her mom comes over to check on it and notices how boring and bland it is or how dull it is. And she's like, well, I guess it's understandable since it's shave ice and you can't really do much with shave ice. But she ends up giving Udon Chan a, a bit of an advice saying like, well, what were you thinking when you thought about making the uh, pork mango, be uh, sorry, the mango pork belly? So that set Udon Chan off and she goes into a more creative fashion instead of just, you know, here are the flavors. She decides to go for more of a fish brand since this is an aquarium or a, a sea creature brand, you know, an aquarium flavor and, and all that mumbo jumbo. And we see her again working quite hard as Fuka and Kukuru are heading to the diner and they see that the diner is closed. So <laughs> I'm glad that her mom is super chill with the diner being closed and just Udon Chan just deciding not to open it up because she's preparing for tomorrow. So that, that was pretty nice. In the next day, they got permission to set up the stall to sell the uh, to sell the shave ice cream. And with, with the aquarium open up, Kukuru sees the old man again and she decides to go and talk to him. He has caught wind because of the local newspaper that the aquarium is closing. He tells Kukuru about why this aquarium is so special to him in the first place. Since he, when he was very young, he lost his older brother and when he grew up, he decided to start a business to honor him, but that business ends up failing. So he goes to the aquarium when it was still brand new and that was when he experienced a vision and he saw his older brother for the first time in a very long time. And because of that, he decides to visit the aquarium every year in order to see if he can meet his uh, older brother again. Kukuru hears that and she realizes that not only she has a connection to this aquarium or how she sees it as special, you know, other people also hold a connection to this place and they also have had uh, a special a special event happened to them and we have seen it throughout this episode uh, throughout this series with you know Fuka experiencing her vision and then we saw uh, Takeshita the veterinarian and now here we see the old man and Kukuru experiencing their own visions where the old man ends up seeing his older brother again and Kukuru ends up seeing her parents and her twin sister so that uh that that was pretty nice you know <laughs> again it's some fucking great drugs that's happening in this goddamn aquarium and it, it is what is that thing that she kukuru had said it previously back in like episode one or something it was a kijimuna i think that's what it is oh my god my writing for the kijimuna is so bad that i can't even figure out whether that's an a or a nine <laughs> How about they captured a tribal child and put him on the social media, huh? That totally won't anger God at all. <laughs> what is that tribal child going to do once the aquarium closes, huh? He's just gonna go somewhere else and give people visions? <laughs> What is he gonna do? After they both had that vision, Kukuru assures the old man that Gama Gama will stay open so he can come and visit the aquarium next year and perhaps also the year after that as well, who knows? But uh, we go back to the, uh, to the shave ice stall where it is quite a hit because of the flavoring and the flavoring, just, you, you know, the unique flavor and also the way that the shave ice is created. Very artsy and again, very Pentagram worthy. <laughs> And we saw that they, uh, we saw that the pictures have made it onto Pentagram, and hopefully, you know, the this shave ice business will give them some buzz. So that would be pretty nice. I don't know if like are they just gonna keep that up for the next summer job, like at the for the next summer at this point. You can probably just you should probably just hire her <laughs> to work there at the stall. Who knows? But that is the end of my notes. If I have anything else to say, I will write it 
in the description down below. I feel like I have lost myself. <laughs> I have lost myself somewhere during this, during, during this whole thing. So I'm just going to end it here.